playoffs and year one of this franchise, you get to kind of come back to Memphis. What has it been like? Well, Memphis is my home, man. I'm born and raised here. It's always great to be back home uh, around friends and family for sure. I think this first year, my rookie year, went really well. Um, so looking forward to uh, next year, hopefully. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, my hip is a little, little iffy, but it's day to day. I'll be all right. What was the biggest thing that you took away from this first season, kind of the grind of it all? Mm -hmm. Well, that uh, just the grind itself. It's a grind for sure, and um, I think you know going back to backs on road trips, week long road trips is definitely something new to me. But uh, sort of got used to that for sure. Playing fifty some odd games and. Um, you know, four or five, six months is, is definitely different, but uh, I kind of got used to that pretty quickly. Of all the different levels of basketball that you've played, how different was this? I think the pacing um, was, was a lot different. I think I had to uh, get used to the pace um, was the first thing. And then uh, just playing just playing ball, really getting back out there and getting used to it, I think um, I had a pretty productive uh, rookie year. In the G, I mean, obviously, there's so many guards, and it's like kind of a guard based league. What was it like for you and Chance just to have to play against teams like that? Well, like I said, it's a grind. I mean, every game you got to come in um, and just just grind. You know, you might not get the ball every time. Uh, you just got to keep running the floor um, and just try your best to produce. What do you feel about your game right now? Like, do you see yourself in moving up in a couple of years, or do you have any gauge of that right now? I don't really have any gauge of that. I just need to continue to, to work and um, continue to you know space up my threes, um, get stronger, of course, uh, ball handling. There's a lot of areas I need to work on for sure, but um, that's what I'll attack first this offseason. When you see a guy like Marcus put in that work and now he's gotten the call up to be with the Grizzlies, how does that serve as kind of a motivator, motivator for the rest it's, of the It's definitely motivating, but it's, it's also uh, humbling just to see a guy like that. He is so... He deserved it so much, and I'm so happy for him. And um, you know, I, I know he'll be able to show his, you know, his talents up in the NBA level. So it was only a matter of time. I'm just happy he got it. Do you think in the future, as this team continues to grow after the first year, you'll see more South Haven to FedEx Forum kind of movement going on? I'd hope so, for sure. I think uh, you know the Lander Center was huge for us this year, and and sort of getting a, another, uh, sorry, another you know group of. Um, you know, fans to come out. And if we can continue to build on that, um, I think it'd be great for the whole organization. What do you think of the way the city's reacted to the Penny hiring? Oh, I think it's great. You know, I think it's great. I think it's something that uh, is great for the city of the Memphis, um, great for University of Memphis. So I'm um, looking forward to it.